Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. So I recently hit uh, 100 subscribers. So thank you so much for your support. If you have not subscribed me yet, so I will invite you to come and join with me. So from this video, we are going to build a Q&A system on YouTube video. So basically the idea is get YouTube URL, convert it into an audio file, and then extract the text transcription uh, from this video and then uh, build the Q&A model. So if you feel boring to listen lengthy lectures, tutorials, and want to summarize podcasts, etc., and also want Q&A with the videos that you are watching or watched, so this is something you should watch. Not necessarily to be YouTube videos, with a small amendment, you can use this same tutorial for the other videos or audio files. So one of the practical applications would be summarizing tons of call recordings in a call center and do intelligent analysis uh, on those with uh, chat GPT. So without much talking, uh, let's move to the notebook. Okay, so uh, first uh, we need to install uh, the libraries. Uh, here we will be installing the Whisper library from OpenAI. So this is basically we are using to transcribe the audio file. And then uh, we will use the PyTube. So this library is being used to uh, load YouTube videos to the Collab Notebook. Then uh, as always, we will load the LangChain, ChromaDB and OpenAI. As the vector DB, we will be using uh, Chroma DB, uh, which is an open source vector storage. Next, uh, we can uh, import the libraries that we are using for this notebook. So basically the Whisper, and also we need to in, uh, import Torch library. So in this case, we will be using the GPU support in Collab environment. So we need Torch to enable the GPU support and uh, also YouTube from the PyTube library and various text splitters, document loaders, vector stores, chains, embeddings, LLMs from the LangChain uh, framework. And also uh, here we will be needed uh, Pandas uh, uh, library also to handle the transcription uh, data frames. Next, we can uh, define the device. So here I will be uh, defining the device. Uh, if there is the GPU support uh, to make it uh, use the GPU support like this. So uh, when you are implementing this in your Collab environment, make sure to go to runtime and from the uh, change runtime type, make sure to uh, enable the GPU uh, hardware accelerator support. Next, we can initiate the uh, Whisper model. Uh, so here from the whisper.load model, we can load the model and set the device as a GPU here. And also here we have uh, several model variations with the Whisper. So here I will be using the large. So if, you, uh, if your environment is not supported with the large Whisper model, you can use uh, the base model and etc. So, uh, always you can use this code in your local computer with a better uh, GPU. So if you have a better GPU, always make sure to use the best uh, model you have with the Whisper. All right, uh, next uh, I'm defining this function. So basically the task of this function is to get a URL, the YouTube URL, and then uh, extract uh, from the, this URL, get the YouTube video, and then uh, from that filter the audio part of the, that particular video, and then save it as an MP3 file in the uh, Google Drive. So here as a sample uh, YouTube video, I will be giving uh, one of the videos from Geek Avenue, the build document question answering app on Streamlit. So this is the 25, 24 uh, minute length uh, YouTube video. So I'll be using this in uh, this particular tutorial. So as the destination, I am giving the same directory with a dot. And then I can uh, set a name for this video as well. So because it is getting saved in 
uh, our Google Drive. So next we can uh, call this extract and uh, save a video function here we uh, define. So basically from this, it will extract the video and convert it into audio and save it in our local uh, drive. So here, if you expand this uh, file section in the uh, collab, you can see the uh, corresponding MP3 file uh, is saved in your uh, same directory that you are using the Google collab. All right, uh, next we can move to the transcribe section. So here uh, I will be using these precautions as well to avoid any overflows in the memory in collab environment. So I will be doing the garbage collection stuff. And then uh, here I will be using this loaded model. And then uh, what I have just need to do is simply give the uh, file name, mp3 file name, and then simply call the whisper module. So with this, it will load this mp3 file and then uh, it will do the transcription and then it will be uh, emitted to the this variable result. Now next, I will move to uh, chunk clips. So with this, basically uh, we will chunk our YouTube video into smaller clips. So here the idea is when we do question answering, give references on which part of the video contain the answer to the provided question so that uh, the person can rewatch that part uh, if he wants. So first we will get uh, the segments from the transcription output uh, from RISPR uh, like uh, this. Next, uh, we can create a function like this, a uh, chunk clips. So basically it requires uh, two inputs. The first one is the transcription segments from the whisper. And next uh, uh, it needs the clip size. So basically this is the size of the uh, chunk or the clip uh, that we are providing. So normally uh, in whisper, it annotates each phrase with the start time and the uh, end time. So we can use this uh, for the chunking the video clip. So here as the chunking delimiter, uh, we will use the number of phrases as given as the clip size. So here I'm creating a uh, two uh, list. The first one is text. This is to hold text from each of the clip segment. And this is to hold uh, the time duration or the period for each of the clip segment. Next, uh, I can uh, the slice the data frame with the given clip size or the given number of uh, phrases and then uh, create set of set of sub uh, data frames. Next, I will uh, go through each of these sub data frames. And then uh, I am uh, doing uh, two things. The first, uh, I will uh, build the complete text from the uh, clip chunk by joining all the text in the rows uh, between like this. Next, uh, I will create in the source. So for this, I will be using the first and then the last uh, row of this uh, sub data frame. And then uh, from those uh, first and last rows, I will, from the first row, I will be using the start time frame and from the uh, last data frame, I will be using the ending time frame. And these times are in seconds. So I will be converting, it, I will be dividing it with the 60 to convert it into uh, minutes. So I'll be also rounding it to get uh, to two decimal places. And like this, I will be, I can create the time stamp for the given uh, video uh, segment. Next, I will append these texts as well as the sources uh, to these two lists and I will uh, emit those two lists. So basically with this way, I can build a set of video segments along with uh, their time stamps. So here I can call this created uh, Python function like this. So I will set the uh, clip size to 50 so this here, the 50 means 
I am segmenting my video clip with from every 50 phrases. So next I can uh, get the documents from the first uh, output list from the chunks and next I can get the sources as well. So for example, this is how it looks like. So uh, this is the first part. So the first part contain from uh, zero to 5.48 minutes. And next uh, we have this segment, this segment likewise. So our entire video is uh, something around 24 minutes and it is uh, split into five segments like this. All good. Uh, now we have extracted all our documents as well as our sources. So we can do the regular steps that we are doing. Basically, we can do the open AI key here and initiate in the embedding extractor instance. Also, we can initiate the vector uh, store. So here with chroma from text, we can give the documents, embeddings, as well as sources as the metadata. And next we can do the model name, which is the chat GPT model. And then I will also initiate the retriever so that we can give how many uh, segments that need to be used when it does the question answering. So always you can change these parameters and uh, use your own parameters. All right, uh, next we can initiate our model. So here I'll be using the retrieve Q&A with sources chain and uh, I will give the LLM I created as, the, as well as the retriever. So uh, let's move to some Q&A. So first I'm asking what is this uh, video about? And then uh, if I run this, so this is the question, uh, the answer I'm getting. It says this video is about creating an end-to-end -end, uh, streamlit application. So here there's a small mistake as well. It should be streamlit uh, application that can communicate with multiple documents using streamlit, Langchain, and Chroma DB and OpenAI. So this is pretty good. So that's what basically I'm do doing with this uh, YouTube tutorial. Also, it gives the referred clip segments. So it has used the first segment, which is the introduction. So, and also it uh, takes information from the end note as well. So this is uh, pretty good. And it gives basically what this video is all about. And next I am asking, list down all the steps building this app. So here also it gives uh, all the, almost all the steps uh, that uh, requires to build this uh, application as well. So that's it from this video. So you can try out this method to do Q&A with uh, YouTube videos, etc. So you can also uh, not uh, with limiting to the YouTube videos, you can use it for the, any other video, MP3, etc. So with the MP3s or other videos, you can uh, amend uh, these segments as with the mp3 it's basically we can skip these above segments and load the mp3 file from the disk itself and use uh, the code uh, from here onwards so you can use this for the lengthy lectures or the podcast etc and do q and a and get the answers also referring to the which segments that uh, these answers are uh, referring uh, from. So that's it for the, this video and thank you for watching and please make sure to subscribe me. So see you from the next video.